And good evening, everyone. News 4 is your local election headquarters, and all of the Buffalo Common Council primary races have been decided. We have been keeping a close eye on the Maston district race between Zanetta Everhart and India Walton. Within the last hour, Walton made her concession speech, so this means Everhart will have her name on the ballot come November. Everhart won by nearly 800 votes today. Coming up in just a few minutes, we will be joined live by Tara Lynch, who is live at her campaign headquarters tonight. And this is a live look inside the Erie County Democratic headquarters downtown on Seneca Street. We'll be taking a look at who will be re representing each district tonight. Now, in the Ellicott District, Common Council President Darius Pridgen, who is not running for re-election, we see that Leah Halton Pope will fill that void. She's the first woman elected to the council since 2014 and was previously the senior advisor to Senate Majority Leader Crystal Peoples Stokes. Halton Pope beat m and &E Grew and Matt Deering, as well as Cedric Holloway. During the race, Cedric Holloway was the only candidate to not get back to News 4 for comment. And then I look at my opponents, and I think that I'm the best qualified. That district needs a person like me that could help develop it like it needs to be developed, and it's been forgotten. Well, that's probably the biggest change that needs to happen um, in that having that diversity in thought and how we process things. And I think it's time to uh, throw out the politics as usual that's kept the city mired um, in stagnation, I think, for much of the course of my lifetime. Let's get to the University District. Rashid Wyatt has earned his name on the ballot come November, most likely serving another term. Wyatt, will, or Wyatt beat out Catherine Franco by almost 600 votes today. Even our elected officials get stuck in where we are, that the imagination isn't there, the vision isn't there, the dreaming, um, it gets stuck. And I want there to be so much more of an opportunity for us to, to dream bigger. People want to know what's going on, they want to be involved. And so I'm going to continue on that platform because I think that's the most important. I can make up a whole lot of things, but if the people don't follow it or don't agree with it, it doesn't really matter. So I'll continue to hear from them, continue to listen to them, continue to follow their lead. Incumbent Brian Bowman retains his seat in the Lovejoy District. Mohammed Udin lost by almost 600 votes. Before today, Bowman told us he will try to build off his first term, saying there's still many projects he has planned for his district. I, I like to let everyone know, especially in uh, Lovejoy District, especially in the east side of Lovejoy District, this is the only chance to change. I come out, I st I'm standing for you, I am working for you, I want to take your message to the City Hall. So this term we're running on an agenda of experience matters, we have the experience, we know what we're doing, but the uh, highlights of my campaign moving forward are really, um, I want to aggressively target some of these absentee landlords. Another incumbent retains their seat. Joseph Golumbek Jr. will add to his 24 years on the council. Longtime Buffalo public school teacher Eve Shippens is Golumbek's first challenger in the primary in more than a decade. She lost by more than 600 votes tonight.